Awesome. We are officially live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Legendary Chiropractor Podcast. Tonight is a very special night for myself personally. Um, and if you know Dr. Tim Young and you've had the pleasure of following his content, all the Focus OKC stuff, all the Focus Foundation stuff that he does and puts out there on Facebook, you have to be excited about tonight and the content and the value that he is going to deliver on this podcast for us. So I can't wait. And he's tuning in from Oklahoma. Um, and I am Oklahoma City, I should say. And I'm very, very excited to be sitting down with him. And we're going to talk everything from business, technique, chiropractic in general and philosophy, what that really looks like for you, how to apply it to your chiropractic practice. And even for my students out there, for all of you students and recent grads, how do you take this information and really start to apply it to your life in today's day and age? So we will be right back. We're going to do kind of a shorter um, episode tonight. We're only going for about 30 minutes. So we're going to hit this first ad roll and sponsorship roll and thank them. And then when we come back, we're talking all about all of those things I previously mentioned with Dr. Tim Young. So we will be right back. Stay tuned, everyone. To Inspire Women is the elite boutique coaching company for chiropractors who are looking to live life and run business in a way that is personal, unique, and authentic. They focus on business systems and money mindset mastery so you can pay down debt, be more profitable, and serve more people. Their goal is to empower you to achieve success by your own rules and your own definition. Head to toinspirewomen.com now because they know there's a better way. Cairo HD, superior cloud-based practice management software. Cairo HD is a user-friendly all-in-one EHR solution built with one mission, to help you run your practice like a boss. Learn more at cairohd.com. Total Clinic Solutions is your go-to source for purchasing both brand new and refurbished chiropractic equipment, as well as phone support for repairs and maintenance. Call Derek and allow him to combine your wishes and his 23 years of chiropractic equipment expertise to find what's best for you and your patients at 704-622-4089 or head to TotalClinicSolutions.com now. It's time that chiropractors look beyond spinal alignments and measured the nerve connections that keep our patients feeling strong and performing at their peak. CLA designed the Insight scanning technologies to transform exams and generate powerful reports that give practitioners the certainty they have been searching for. Learn how CLA has partnered with practices around the world by going to InsightCLA.com. Spinal hygiene products are designed to educate your patients on the importance of lifetime spinal care. To learn more about how spinal hygiene products work and to download the patient education material for free, visit spinalhygiene.co. Again, that's spinalhygiene.co. Easily share your passion for chiropractic and look good doing it with Above Down Apparel offering a premium lineup of principled apparel that's impossibly soft, sustainably sourced, and chiropractic AF. Visit AboveDown.co and follow them on Instagram to learn more and score yourself some sweet chiro swag. SCED is the all-in-one system that allows for amazing control and flexibility of your scheduling. Yes, your next new hire. Every aspect of when and where you service your customers is at your command. SCED is tightly integrated with your existing EHR system. This software was made by a chiropractor specifically for chiropractic. No joke. Go check out their latest care plan feature by heading to go.sched.life slash legendary pod. Dr. David Tuhill is an innovative product and marketing strategist, bridging the gap between your vision and strategic plan. He will help you design specific products and processes that are both scalable and set up to produce long-term revenue and growth. He has previously worked with influencers that include Dr. Josh Axe, Jordan Rubin of Ancient Nutrition, Olympic gold medalist Sean Johnson, and many, many others. Schedule your call with Dr. Dave today by heading to meetwithdrdave.com. Training the best adjusters on the planet. Syntropy has reverse engineered what the masters do naturally. From the energetics to the mechanics, they've hacked the code to shorten your learning curve on the road to masterful adjusting. To find a seminar near you, head to syntropychirotraining.com. 
www.thinkingdigital.com. Thank you for allowing this brief disruption to take place. And now back to the program. Rock on. Welcome back, everybody, to the Legendary Chiropractor Podcast. Tonight, we are sitting down with Dr. Tim Young. Doc, go ahead. I'm going to give you the floor since we got a little bit of a shorter episode tonight. I'm going to give you the floor to just introduce yourself, share some accolades, and then we'll get right into content from there, okay? Absolutely. All right, gang. Listen, hey, thank you for having me. I am, uh, like you said, Dr. Tim Young. I'm going to practice 25 years here in Oklahoma City, and we, uh, you know, like many of you that... Uh, either going to get ready to do right out of school. I started with nothing and worked my way up. And after 25 years, we went from zero patients all the way as many as over 900 in a week. Um, you know, one of the things that, uh, that I've been able to accomplish is, is keeping my practice pure chiropractic and still maintaining that high volume, not only high volume, but being very successful. For the past 15 years, we've collected over a million dollars a year for 15 years in a row. Um, and I'm going to explain to you during this segment uh, um, the way I did it. All right. It's very important that um, you get this message coming from someone who's actually still doing it. I just got home from the office and then and I ran home and we jumped on here. You know, I saw 180 patients today after 25 years. And so I have a little bit of understanding of what goes into this. And, if, and if, with your permission, I'm going to jump in the middle of it and start explaining how we do these things. Absolutely, Doc. Let's do it. So just real quick, before we start, we're going to talk all about business, technique, and philosophy. And Dr. Tim, as he goes throughout this entire spiel, I'm going to give him pretty much the floor. If I have any interjections or questions along the way, or you guys have any in the comments, um, please ask them. But Dr. Tim, without further ado, go ahead. All right. So here's here is the... You know, when you talk about running a practice, you guys are getting a lot of your students are going to get ready to get out of school and you're going to step in your own world and you want to be successful. Uh, there's many of you probably watching this that have been in practice for a short period of time. And you're kind of finding a struggle or trying to find your uh, pace and trying to figure out what you're going to do. I work with doctors all over the world that have been in practice for years. I mean, I have doctors been in practice for 20 years and you're still only seeing 70 to 80 patients a week. The number one, the number one thing that I see that the biggest obstacle within chiropractic is the chiropractic certainty. Chiropractors are so confused about what they do and what they do not do. And the certainty as who you are as a chiropractor and what you do, 100% comes from our philosophy. You have got to understand why we do what we do before you know how to do it. Unfortunately, today, many of the schools are just not teaching it. And I was very fortunate. I had a teacher, Dr. Hugo Gibson, that many of you may know, that walks, talks. He is living chiropractic history, but he really, uh, really instilled in me and many of us that were his students the importance of understanding when we were called to be a chiropractor, what that actually means. And, I, and, and I'm going to burst some bubbles, but it absolutely does not mean soft tissue work. It does not mean physical therapy. It does not mean pain management. It does not mean exercises, weight loss. It doesn't mean any of those things. That is not chiropractic. And if you go into the chiropractic profession with that in mind, thinking, and that's what you're going to do, you're going to struggle. There's not a doubt in my mind. I Not only have I got a, one of the most successful practices in the world, I'm close friends with the other most successful practices in the world, and I will tell you one thing we all have in common is we understand without a shadow of a doubt there is it's not a no, uh, belief, it's a knowing of what chiropractic is and what it is not. And what we do as chiropractors is we restore motion in the joints of the spine. We remove stress to allow the inner intelligence within the body to then dictate and take over and, and restore health. That's what we do. We don't do soft tissue work. We don't do any of those things because that is not what is what is important for allowing healing. Now, I'm not saying that there's not a time for soft tissue work. There's not a time for physical therapy. There's not a time for weight loss and nutrition. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is if you want to be a hugely successful chiropractor, you have to understand that people get in their car, they drive across town, they bring their families to see a chiropractor for a chiropractic adjustment. The problem is most chiropractors don't even understand or they don't they don't value the importance of the adjustment. And when you start watering down and removing the importance of the, the physical adjustment, the actual act of adjusting, when you do that, then what you're doing is you're taking the power of chiropractic away. 
That is our power. That is that is what has maintained our profession all these years. It was the adjustment. You're never gonna you're never gonna hear a legendary chiropractor talk about how much physical therapy they did. You're never gonna hear Gonstead talking about trigger point therapy. It's never gonna happen. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna listen to the legends of this profession throughout time, and they're gonna talk about delivering a specific intentional chiropractic adjustment, not manipulation, adjusting. The reason we do that is because we understand our philosophy, and, and I'm not going to spend our entire, you know, time. I, I apologize, having a short time, I, you know. But what's important for you, for everyone listening to this, when I say the word philosophy, many of you have already turned me off because that's what you taught. You're taught that philosophy is nothing more than history, and I'm going to tell you right now, as I sit here in front of you, and I'm still practicing, just like you are. I'm still seeing 150 to 200 people a day. I'm still having referrals from all over the country come in. It's because I understand my philosophy. I live in my philosophy. I, I, I live it, breathe it, eat it, sleep it. And if you turn it off, you're turning off your success. I've got news for you. You're going to turn off your success. Now, with that being said, when you understand your philosophy, when you get why you do what you do, then you have to then apply it. So I tell all the doctors that I coach with, and we've got almost 250 doctors in 14 different countries that, that I actually work with. And I have a very simple um, way of life or, or my philosophy, personal philosophy and practice. We tell the truth and then we de deliver on the truth. That's all we do as chiropractors. You tell the truth, deliver on the truth. Now, when you tell the truth, where does your truth come from? you got to understand when you speak, when you say something, when you give a, a care plan or when you tell someone your uh, treatment recommendations, where does that knowledge come from? And that's what you've got to get right with. But once you determine your truth and you deliver it, now you have to deliver on the truth. And that is technique. That's the chiropractic adjustment. I will tell you, um, I travel all over the world. I, and many of you listening to this, you've taken my adjusting classes. I've been doing it for 10 years in almost all the schools. So there's a good chance that at one of you, you know, a good portion of you have been in my classes. I teach in other countries and I watch, I go to the big seminars. I go to Caltrans, I go to Mile High and I do all these big seminars. I'm normally speaking at them and I'll sit back and I'll watch people adjust each other. These are seasoned chiropractors and I'm absolutely appalled in what I see. It is, it is the most disgusting, bastardized version of chiropractic I've ever seen in my life. And then what happens is I work with students that are showing me what they're being taught in school, and I don't even know how to respond to some of it. It's absolutely unbelievable. Your chiropractor, Dr. Gibson said this, the, the chiropractic adjustment is your signature. It defines who you are as a chiropractor. I want everyone listening to this to, to write this down. The chiropractic adjustment, your adjustment, is your signature. It defines who you are as a chiropractor. No true words can ever be spoke. I have patients that will drive three and three and a half hours one way. They are in and out of my office in less than a minute. And they will tell me the reason they drive three hours and drive all the way home and they drive past 100 chiropractors on the way here because no one adjusts me like you. They didn't say no one rubs my shoulders like you. They didn't say no one stretches my hamstrings like you. They didn't say... You know, no one puts EMS pads on my shoulders like you do. They said no one adjusts like you. Gang, you have got to take this serious. Your adjustment isn't, you know, it's chiropractic philosophy, art, and science. We've got about 90% science going on. We have about 2% philosophy, and, the, and that little bit left is our art, and it's out of balance. The profession is out of balance. You have got to get right with your art. It has to be there. You take you take every adjusting course that you could possibly take. My daughter, Alicia, I'm going to brag on her. Many of you may know her. She's been in practice just under in her own. She opened her own practice a little less than a year ago here in Oklahoma City. Within a year, she's already seen almost 160 people a week, averaging like $65 a visit. They come from all over. And I will tell you why. That girl, not only does she love chiropractic and she loves people and she just, she works her tail off. She, and when she was in school and I'm her dad, she, she took every adjusting course I ever gave, but she went to every other adjusting course. She went to every ICPA course. She went to every 
thing that she could, she constantly was adding to her arsenal of tools that she could use. She's the only person that I will let adjust my neck. I just, I won't let anyone else touch it because she's that good. And she's just a year, a little over a year in her own practice. I bring that up because, it, you know, you've got to understand why you adjust, but then you've got to know how. And this technique, do not, do not let it fall to the side. Don't manipulate. Don't just be half-assed. And I'm going to tell you guys something. If you want a lot of people to come see you, respect them. Do they ask yourself this question? If you were going to go see a chiropractor, do you want to go to the okay chiropractor? You want to go to the one that, that's just good enough is just good enough? Or do you want to go to the one that's the very best? And if you want to go to the very best, then respect your patients enough to become the very best. And I'm going to tell you this, it does not happen overnight. 25 years of doing this, I average about 25,000 patients a year. 25,000 visits to 30,000, depending on the year, is what I average. And I'm still working on my technique. I still focus. I still pay attention. I'm still looking at my line of drive. I'm still looking at my angles. I'm still paying attention to how the tissue changes after an adjustment. Okay? I cannot stress enough how important it is to not only understand why you adjust, but then when you decide to adjust, how specific how intentional, how focused you are with your hands and what you're doing. If you do those two things, this next section, what I'm going to talk about business, then it comes together, but you've got to have the balance. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more with everything you said. And when we come back from this short break, I'm going to give you some of the notes that I jotted down and some of the important key factors that I think you should take away from what Dr. Young just said there. Um, so when we come back from this short break, we'll do that. And then we'll get right into what he said. Next is the business of chiropractic. Every chiropractic clinic needs a compliance program. If you are not sure what that includes or why you need one, let Dr. Robin from RHDC Consulting help you build your chiropractic compliance. If you are ready to get started, head to robin-hale.mykajabi.com and let Dr. Robin guide you to the end result. Turnkey Practice is a chiro-focused, full-service team. They are your administrative guidance through credentialing, lease agreements, and of course, office build-outs. They are there from start to finish, allowing you to focus on the marketing and building your patient base while they build your practice, tailor-made for you. To get started, head to myturnkeypractice.com slash legendarypod. Dr. Christy Wick is revamping the landscape of women's chiropractic coaching. With a focus on connection and congruence, she's on a mission to empower lady DCs across the nation to create bold, successful lives and practices their way. Get started today by visiting theilluminatedsquad.com. Imaging Services' primary business is chiropractic solutions. With over 45 years in the industry of helping chiropractors, Michael Tokash offers free consultations on building your business. In the past year, Imaging Services has installed over 100 x-ray machines and digital x-ray systems in over 42 states across the United States. For more, head to theimagingservices.com. The 56-Day Chiropractic Boot Camp, building badass female chiropractors who are instinctively successful. Head to 56daychirobootcamp.com slash legendary for your free endless referrals cheat sheet now. Thank you for allowing this brief disruption to take place. And now back to the program. Awesome, everyone. Welcome back to the Legendary Chiropractor Podcast. Oh my gosh, Dr. Tim and I were just talking off camera a little bit. We are fired up. He is fired up. And I want to share a couple notes that I took down um, because I think it's important to really drive some of these key points home, especially when Dr. Tim has so much value and so much content to really offer um, for all of you. So number one is certainty. You got to have certainty in what you do. And as Dr. Tim said earlier in this episode, that comes from our philosophy. That is who you are and what you do. And you have to be certain in that. The second thing is, is the adjustment. The adjustment is your signature. It's what defines you. It's what defines us as chiropractors, which I think is mostly important as well. 
And last but not least is tell the truth. And I added with certainty, right? Because a lot of times we say, we tell people the truth, but we don't have the confidence and the clarity and the certainty behind it for them to even understand the value and the true meaning of chiropractic and what that can impact when it comes to their, their own lives as well as their family's lives. So I think those three points are, are really important to drive home. Next, we're going into talking about the business of chiropractic. So Dr. Tim, please take it away with the business business. How do we have over a million dollar practice for 15 years in a row? Go ahead. All right. So here's what's important. I want you guys to think about this. So once you have your certainty, once you, like you said, that was actually perfect. You've got to follow your truth up with certainty. Um, once you, once you hone your technique and your skill, now you're delivering it. Now you're going to run a business. And the way we're going to run a million dollar business is a couple of ways. One, you're going to be very, very efficient. You're going to do the number one most important thing to get the greatest effect. The number one most important thing to get the greatest effect instead of many little things to simply get side effects. You've got to be efficient. You have got to choose your words, choose your actions, choose your motions. Create an environment that's very simple. I have one table and one room. I can see 40 to 50 patients an hour, and that's including report of findings and new patients all, all at the same time because of my efficiency. You've got to remove inefficient actions, words, um, and, and motions and procedures. If it's not 100% necessary to get the patient well or to deliver that adjustment, don't do it. Only do what is necessary. There's a lot of things you're going to be taught that you should do or can do. I don't know how many doctors that I've talked to that spend five or six minutes with every single patient simply stretching them. It is not necessary. I don't know how many people that they want to sit down and go over a, a, a you know, consultation every time they come in. It is not necessary. It just isn't. My consultations take two to three minutes. My exams take two to three minutes. My reported findings take two to three minutes. My adjustments take one to two minutes. And here's the thing. People will say you can't deliver a proper uh, adjustment. You can't give uh, someone you know, proper attention in that short amount of time. Well, the problem with that, that statement is it's not about me and it's not about you. It's about the patients. And if that's not what they wanted, they would quit coming in. And after 25 years, I still average 50 to 60 new patients a month, word of mouth referrals. So what I'm trying to say is I'm delivering what people really want instead of what I created or someone else told me that they want. They would have shut me down. You've got to be efficient and you have to know your worth. This is the number one most important part of chiropractic business. Know your worth. Understand the value in what we do. I just had a, a workshop this weekend. We had doctors from all over the country coming here to Oklahoma City. And this is a word for word what I told him. When we put someone on, on a care plan, and my care plans are typically 32 visits, three times a week for eight weeks and once a week for eight weeks before I move them into what we call wellness or maintenance. So 32 visits, 18 or 16 weeks, right? That 16 weeks should be $20,000 minimum. There should be, it should be no less than $20,000, but we're giving it away at $1,600, $50 a visit. That's a gift. And I, and I've got doctors that I work with that are in other parts of the country that's $70, $80 a visit. But here in Oklahoma, it's 50. I'm saying this because I know the value of an adjustment. I understand that. And so when someone comes in, when someone comes in, when I'm giving the care plan, I know how much value that I'm, that I'm, delivering for them and I know how cheap this is what's happening is there is a big misconception out there that you to serve 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 but you have to give it away and you don't I will tell you I know chiropractors that see 800 to a thousand a week and you're gonna think that these are the most successful people in the country here's the problem they're exhausted they're tired they're wore out and they're not hardly making any money and they're averaging about 19 to 20 dollars a visit and I will tell you, after a period of time, that's going to start breaking them down. They're going to start resenting their practices. I've seen it. I'll give you a perfect example right quick. Everybody knows who James Sigafoos was. Sigafoos was a hero in this profession. The man saw 600 patients a day. He only practiced 10 years. Only practiced 10 years. And I will tell you this, he only averaged 10 to $15 or 5 to $10 a visit. And when I, I said this in Amsterdam one time, and you know, and I had someone who was upset with me, they said, I don't believe that. And then Carrie Sigafoos, his son, was right there. And Carrie said, I know for a fact you're telling the truth, because I was the one that got in the box and opened up the box on the wall and unraveled the $5 bills. 
He says, so you're, you're telling the truth. And so what, but my mentor, my teacher, Richard Yinny, he practiced 62 years, 62 years this man practiced. And when he died, he was averaging hundred dollars a visit. So I'm going to follow 62 year practice, my mentor, because he understood the value. I want all the students to listen to me. When you get out and practice, do not give it away. Do not barter. Do not. It's not a garage sale. This, if you want a McDonald version practice where they can come in and get a two ninety nine Happy Meal, then that's the kind of practice you'll have from now on. But if you want a mission of three star, waiting in line, hard to get in to see you, services beyond everything else, that's the kind of practice you want. Then then deliver that practice, but charge accordingly. Know your worth. The, the number one obstacle in chiropractic business with chiropractors is they absolutely do not understand their worth. And the problem is, you know, what, what goes on, right, is here's where they struggle is because they get it for free. They can go see their buddy and get adjusted. They don't have to pay for it. So, but they've never been sick. They've never been down where they couldn't work. So when people come to see you, they'll pay $5,000 for a set of braces. They'll pay eight or, you know, $4,000 for an MRI. They'll, they'll pay all this money for everything. But then when they come to see you, you think you have to give it away in order to get them to come back and you don't. You've got to, you've got to stand your ground and understand your value. So as far as business goes, be very certain, know why you do what you do without a shadow of a doubt. No matter who you talk to, when you speak, there's certainty in your tone of your voice. Tell them what they need. Understand how to deliver a proper chiropractic adjustment. Be specific, be focused, be intentional. Make it happen. Get in and get out. Be, when it comes to business, be very efficient. Do not waste time. Do not waste motion. Do not waste uh, movements. Do not waste your words. Do not have idle conversations that absolutely has nothing to do with why they're there. In my office, I don't have pictures of my kids, my grandkids, my wife. I have pictures of nothing in the office other than chiropractic. Because when someone comes to see me, it's about them, not me. I'm not going to have a conversation about football or basketball or grandkids or what you did over the weekend. And that's not why they came. Think about this. No one is sitting at home thinking, you know what? I need to get the kids dressed. I need to drive across town in traffic. I need to wait in this waiting room because I need to go find out what he did this weekend. No patient will ever say that. What they're saying is, I have pain. I have a headache. My, I can't feel my right leg. I, I've got a cold. Whatever. I need to go see my chiropractor to get an adjustment. So when they drive across town, they bring their kids in, deliver on why they came efficiently, effectively, and charge accordingly understand your value and you will never struggle in this profession but if you don't put all those things together you will always fight an uphill battle i've seen doctors come out of school and go from zero to 200 a week collecting 500,000 their first year i've watched it and i've also seen doctors come out of school and 20 years later they're still seeing 60 and 70 a week and they can barely pay their bills all you have to do is make a decision who you want to be put these things into place and make that happen Absolutely. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more, Doc. And we are going to take our last ad break. And when we come back, I'm going to break down and um, really ground home and hit home some of those key points that Dr. Tim just said. And then we're going to talk a little bit about Focus OKC so that we can get some more people there in the end of July of 2020. So stay tuned, everybody. We will be right back. Dr. Stu Hoffman, founder and president of ChiroSecure Malpractice Insurance, is the foremost expert in both risk management and risk avoidance. Understanding the everyday challenges of today's practicing chiropractor and the current public perception of chiropractic has made ChiroSecure the fastest growing malpractice insurance program of the last 28 years. Find out more at ChiroSecure.com. The IFCO is here to support you. Whether you are a chiropractic student, doctor of chiropractic, chiropractic organization, or member of the public, the International Federation of Chiropractors and Organizations is here for you. They recognize and support your right to practice and receive vertebral subluxation-centered chiropractic care and are here to ensure that right and spread access to that care throughout the world. Head to ifcochiro.org slash legendary for more. Be sure to give our friends over at Cairo Hustle a listen. They are bringing together some of the biggest names in the profession and learning from the greats. 
Cairo Hustle creates a safe space where chiropractic leaders share their stories and their passions with the world. Let's get hustling by heading to CairoHustle.com now. Thank you for allowing this brief disruption to take place. And now back to the program. Awesome, everyone. Welcome back to the Legendary Chiropractor Podcast. I am going to real quick drop a link on the screen for Focus OKC. It's focusokc.com. Um, and you can go there and get tickets and everything for Focus OKC at the end of July. Dr. Tim's going to give us a little bit more details on what to expect, what it's about, and why you should really be there. But first, I want to drive home the points of being efficient and knowing your worth and knowing the worth of the adjustment for you, your, you yourself, the chiropractic student, the recent graduate, or the veteran chiropractor out there. You got to know these things. Like he said, efficiency is key in the workplace, meaning they come in for a specific reason, you give them, you answer and you deliver on that specific reason of why they're there. And then when they go and turn around, they come back and they fight traffic. Like you said, they pass a hundred chiropractors on their way back to your office because you deliver the goods and you're efficient at doing so because people got things to do. People got different you know, events going on and things happening. So they, they want to be there, but they want to get the goods and go. Um, and then second thing was know your worth, the adjustments worth as well. Um, don't just give it away. It's, it's valuable to not only yourself, but also chiropractic as a whole. This is how our profession begins to really shift and change this, uh, this paradigm and this perception that the public has upon chiropractors and chiropractic um, as a profession, as a whole. Um, and it's because we don't, where do we value ourselves? And we all value ourselves differently. Um, but Dr. Tim pointed out earlier in this episode that you have to, there are specific calculations that you can do to really figure out what your worth is and knowing your care plans, delivering on those care plans and giving the best results and care to those patients is what's going to really drive this home for you. So doc, without further ado, tell us a little bit about Focus OKC, when it is, what it is, and why people should be there. Go ahead. Absolutely. So Focus OKC, I created this thing. This will be our 11th year. So 11 years ago, I came up with this idea that, you know, Billy has, Billy, Billy DeMoss has Cal Jam out in California. And at this time, that was really the, the, the biggest event in the country. And, but we had to wait a whole year. I'm like, you know, this message, this message of chiropractic certainty that I was talking about, where does that message come from? Well, you got to find it. If you're not reading it, you got to go find it. And so I created Focus. It's called the Focus OKC, but Focus stands for the Fountain of Chiropractic Understanding. And so what I've done is I'm bringing in um, the, the biggest guys, the, the biggest coaches, the biggest chiropractors, the, the best speakers throughout the world. This year we got doctors coming in from Spain. We got doctors coming in from Australia. We got them coming in from the UK, all over this country. And everything I talked about tonight, the, the philosophy, the certainty, the, the technique, the business is all going to be wrapped up in the top, in the profession, in those areas at Focus OKC. And yeah, it's, it's the, the last week in July, uh, 24th and 25th um, here in Oklahoma City. If you go to FocusOKC.com, you'll get all that information. Um, it's really important that you guys attend these events. You know, you know I, I will tell you, um, Parker University is about two and a half, three hours from us. And we'll have, we'll have 150, 200 students come in. Kansas City, all the Cleveland students come in. I don't know how many live students are a ton that come in from Life, Palmer, um, Logan, they all come in. And I will tell you, the doctors that I know that are in practice today that have been, that have been going to focus the last several years, if you talk to them, they will tell you that it made the entire difference in their practice in their lives because they heard the message from somewhere other than school. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to finish with this. This is really, really important. Um, on my stage every year, I will have some of the top chiropractic coaches in the world. We're all in this together. I'm a chiropractic coach. I have my own program called Foundations. What I do is I actually record what I do in the office. You can actually watch me with patients, watch me do report, watch everything I do. So that way you can see, go do it. If not me, someone. We were talking about Dr. Greg Lowacki, one of my closest friends of chiropractic. He, he has a great group. Uh, Joe borio has got a great group. There's so many guys out there. Fred DiDomenico. I don't care who you use, but I'm going to tell you students and young doctors, if you're struggling, get a coach. Don't reinvent the wheel. Every major athlete in the world has a coach. Everyone. There's a reason for that. And if you don't think you're an athlete as a chiropractor, 
get ready. You haven't seen very many people. I got news for you. You've seen 150, 200 people in a day. You better be in shape and know that it's going to be game on, especially after doing it for 25 years. Again, why would you go into practice thinking you know it all when you don't? There's no way you can. You can't learn from experiences you've never had. So if you find somebody that you resonate with, that you listen to, you go, I like what they've got to say, listen to what they say, and you're absolutely going to save yourself years, absolutely years of heartache and headache. And possibly, honestly, I've had doctors join my group that were on the verge of bankruptcy, getting ready to close their practice down, going out of business. And within a year's time, they collect three, four hundred thousand dollars, pay all their student loans off, and they're on top of the world just because someone showed them the right way. So that's what Focus OKC is: it's bringing all the top minds together in one in one venue, so you all can sit and, and absorb this information and be exposed to people who could possibly lead you down a life of success instead of doing it by yourself and, and trying to figure it out on your own. And a lot of people can figure it out on your you do okay, but I'm going to tell you: if you truly want to be successful, find some help. I did it. I have had many, many coaches through the year, still have coaches. And that's what that's my best recommendation for all of you is find somebody to latch on to and learn from. Yeah. Hundred percent, hundred percent, Doc. Find a coach, find a mentor, find somebody like Dr. Tim said that you resonate with. That is most important. And even throughout chiropractic school as well, is find a mentor, find a peer, um, someone that you resonate with and you're like, okay, let's go to seminars together, let's go to conferences together, let's learn chiropractic together. And then that way, if you have questions or you want to bounce ideas off someone, you have somebody in your corner that is experiencing it with you, is going through it with you. And I think that's really, really important. I have a coach myself i have had a coach for the last two years i've been in chiropractic school for two three and a half years so it's like i've had a coach coming throughout this whole entire process and it's what really keeps you grounded but also what kind of points out different things in yourself that you don't necessarily see in the mirror um and it also like dr tim said it, it they give you experience that you don't have. They give you knowledge that you simply don't and cannot have leaving chiropractic school or within chiropractic school. So please find yourself a coach, be certain in what you do as a chiropractor, adjust with certainty, deliver the goods, and know your worth as a chiropractor. That pretty much sums up the entire story of today, talking about chiropractic philosophy, technique, and chiropractic business, and how you can best successfully run your chiropractic practice and be the best you can be. So head to focusokc.com. It's right there on the bottom of the screen. Get your tickets for Focus OKC July 24th, 25th at the end of July. It's the last weekend of July of 2020. We look forward to seeing you guys there. Thank you so much for joining us and thank you for your support of the Legendary Chiropractor Podcast. Thanks, Dr. Tim. Appreciate you. Thank you, guys.